to, he was with an Island Records, Chris Blackwell, again, the founder of that. So he wanted his independence, so he created Tough Gong International. So that was his independence, Tough Gong International. So we couldn't then take, <laughs> we could not then take Tough Gong and put him back into that system, you dig? Mm -hmm. He already removed himself. So how can we go back? No, 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 not, no. Yeah. Not for money, not for nothing. So, <laughs> Respect. Yeah. yeah. So that's well, why today we are the, we, it's us. Bob Marley, we had, and it wasn't handed to us. We had to like. Before you go to the next question, let me ask you this, because you talked about back in, you know, the 80s. Sure. Um, Mike uh, and so many others mm -hmm. offering to buy the publishing rights to, to your yeah, father's music, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And name, image, likeness. And we did it, we bought it. We the children. Can I ask what was the biggest, you know, offer y'all got? I mean, $20 million at that time, $25 million. Now ain't nobody, 